You know, it's funny. Uh, today's topic is something I think we've all thought about at some point. Oh, yeah. Can AI actually predict lottery numbers? Okay. We've got a ton of articles, research, even some AI-generated content to dig into. Interesting. This isn't just about the tech, though. Right. It's about, like, randomness and probability There's... and even a little bit of human psychology, I think. Yeah, for sure. So get ready for some surprising stuff. This might change how you think about both AI and yeah. those tempting lottery tickets. It's so fascinating how this whole idea of predicting the lottery mm -hmm. just captures people's imaginations. Yeah. It feels like every few years there's some new system or technology that I claims know. it can crack the code. I know. But like, what is it about this idea that's so enduring? Well, yeah, it's like yeah. there's this deep seated belief that there must be a way to beat the system, yeah. even though, you know, it seems impossible. Right. Makes me wonder if it's less about actually winning money and more about just wanting to control something that's totally uncontrollable. Absolutely. It really taps into this very human desire for order yeah. and predictability. Yeah. And then you combine that with instant wealth. Yeah. Easy to see why people are so drawn to those ideas. Totally. Even if, you know, logic says it shouldn't work. Speaking of logic. Yeah. Let's talk about how lotteries actually work for a second. Okay. For anyone listening who's thinking, well, maybe there is a pattern. Right. Our sources are pretty clear. Okay. Modern lotteries, mm -hmm. totally designed for true randomness. Oh, wow. We're talking like rigorously inspected ball machines, yeah. carefully calibrated balls, uh, even cryptographically secure random number generators. It's like, imagine shuffling a deck of cards. Okay. But instead of a human doing the shuffling, it's a complex algorithm. Okay. That's creating a truly random sequence of numbers. I see. Each, each shuffle, or in this case, each number generation mm -hmm. is completely independent of the last one. So every single number has an equal chance of popping up it, no yes. matter what happened in previous draws. Yeah. No hot or cold numbers. Nope. No lucky streaks. It's just pure chance. Just pure, unpredictable chance. Yeah. Which brings us to AI mm -hmm. and why it can't reliably predict lottery numbers. Okay. AI, especially machine learning, right? Yeah. It's great at recognizing patterns in data. Yeah. But if the data itself is truly random, yeah. there are no patterns to find. Right. Let's be honest. Yeah. There are a ton of AI lottery prediction tools out there. A lot. It's like they're trying to make it sound super high tech. It's definitely a marketing tactic. Yeah. But the reality is, while these tools might use algorithms and analyze past data, mm -hmm. they can't actually predict a random event. So are they totally bogus? Well, it's not that simple. Okay. Some of them do have uses. Like what? Not in the way people expect, though. Okay. Like, AI can be really effective at detecting fraud. Fraud? In the lottery? Yeah, you'd be surprised. How does that even work? So AI is exceptionally good at spotting unusual patterns in data. Okay. So in the lottery, it can look at things like ticket purchases uh -huh. and flag any suspicious activity mm -hmm. that might indicate a scam or an attempt to manipulate the system. So it's using pattern recognition to find patterns that shouldn't be there. Okay, so AI can help with fraud detection. Mm. What else? Another area where AI can help is optimizing ticket purchases. Interesting. Especially for people who play regularly. So it's not telling you what numbers to pick, uh, but yeah. helping you buy smarter. Exactly. How would that even work? Imagine you're part of a lottery pool with some trends. Okay. Yeah. AI can help you choose number combinations mm -hmm. that cover a wider range of possibilities. Mm. So you increase your chances of winning something. Okay. Even if the odds of hitting the jackpot are still slim. So we've got AI helping with fraud detection and purchase optimization. So far, yeah. What other unexpected uses did you find in your research? Well, one that I thought was interesting was the idea of using AI to personalize the lottery experience. Okay. Especially as more lotteries move online. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like how streaming services will recommend movies based on what you've watched before. AI could analyze your past playing habits okay. and suggest games you might like. Interesting. Or even ones you hadn't considered before. So like having a personal lottery concierge. In a way, yeah. Tailoring the experience to you. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But wouldn't that encourage people to play more? Well. Even if it's not in their best interest. That's where responsible gambling initiatives come in. Okay, so now we're switching gears a bit. Yeah. From trying to win the lottery Fun. to thinking about how to play responsibly. Exactly. And guess what? 
AI can help there too. Okay, I'm intrigued. Tell me more. AI can analyze player behavior, uh -huh. looking for patterns that might indicate problematic gambling habits. So it's like an early warning system. Kind of, yeah. But wouldn't that require a ton of personal data? Well, it would require some data, yes. What about privacy concerns? That's definitely a valid concern. Yeah. It highlights how important it is to implement these systems ethically and transparently. Yeah. It's not about tracking every single thing a player does. Okay. It's about looking for broader trends and anomalies. Gotcha. That might signal a need for intervention. Yeah, okay, so I'm starting to see how AI could be a really valuable tool here. Yeah. Even if it can't predict the winning numbers. Right. It's more about managing risk mm -hmm. and understanding behavior yeah. and improving the overall experience for everyone. for everyone involved. Exactly. And that's a crucial point as we continue this deep dive. I agree. AI isn't about taking away the mystery of the lottery or well, the excitement. Yeah. It's about adding a layer of insight and understanding. To this very old fascination with chance and fortune. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've debunked the myth of AI predicting lottery numbers. At least in truly random systems. Exactly. Yeah. But, but I'm curious about those stories you hear about uh, mathematicians who've oh. supposedly won the lottery multiple times yeah. using their own systems. Right. Is there any truth to that? You know, those stories are definitely intriguing. Yeah. It's really hard to say for sure if there's any truth to them. Right. Some might be genuine cases of incredible luck, okay. combined with a deep understanding of probability. So some people might just be really good at playing the odds. It's possible, but it's important to remember yeah. that even if someone has won multiple times, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily mean they have a system. Oh, okay. It could just be statistical outliers. Yeah. Those rare events that defy the odds. After all, someone has to win. Exactly. Even it, if the odds are crazy small. And it's crucial to distinguish between yeah. improving your odds, okay. which some strategies might actually do, uh -huh. and guaranteeing a win, right? which is just impossible in a truly random system. So even the most brilliant mathematician mm -hmm. can't outsmart true randomness. It seems that way, yeah. It's kind of a humbling thought. It is. It's a reminder that sometimes luck plays a bigger role than logic. Yeah, I guess so. But that doesn't mean we can't use what we know about probability and statistics right. to make more informed choices. Okay, so we can't definitively prove or disprove those lottery guru claims? Not really, no. It seems like the best approach is to be a little skeptical. A healthy dose of skepticism is always good. Exactly. Don't let those stories cloud your judgment. Yeah. Or lead you to unrealistic expectations. Right. Focus on playing responsibly, mm -hmm. understand the odds, yeah. and just enjoy the game. Speaking of enjoying the game, yeah. i got to ask about those recent headlines. What headlines? Claiming that ChatGPT is predicting lottery numbers. Oh, yeah. The ChatGPT lottery buzz. Yeah, what's the deal with that? It's a fascinating example of how our perception of AI okay. can sometimes get ahead of reality. All right, tell me more. Okay, so ChatGPT is a type of generative language model. Mm -hmm. It's really good at producing human-like text, okay. but it doesn't actually understand the information it's processing. So it's more like a super advanced parrot. That's a great analogy. Than a genius mathematician. Exactly. It can mimic human language mm. and follow instructions, Okay. but it doesn't have any real-world knowledge okay. or reasoning abilities. So if someone asks ChatGPT to predict lottery numbers, right. what happens? It'll basically just spit out a random sequence of numbers okay. that fit the format of that lottery. Mm -hmm. There's no special algorithm or logic happening. So it's just generating random outputs. Based on the patterns it learned mm -hmm. from the huge data set it was trained on. Gotcha. But why do some people think it's actually predicting winning numbers? Well, there are a few reasons. Okay. Firstly, with so many people using ChatGPT, yeah, millions. it's statistically inevitable yeah. that someone will ask it for lottery numbers right. and purely by chance get a few correct. It's like that broken clock that's Actually, right twice a day. Exactly. It's all about selective reporting Yeah. and our human tendency to see patterns where there aren't any. We love to find connections. Even in random data. Even in random data, yeah. And then you combine that with the whole lottery thing mm -hmm. and the mystique surrounding AI. Yeah. It's easy to see how these stories get so much attention. Okay, so we've talked about the technology, the math, and the human psychology yeah. behind this fascination with predicting the lottery. Yeah, and as AI gets more advanced, yeah. it'll be interesting to see how it affects 
how we approach these games of chance. That's a good point. Not just the lottery, mm -hmm. all sorts of gambling and risk taking. Right. Will it make us more responsible? Yeah. Or will it create new problems? Hmm. Will it make things more fun? Okay. Or will it take away some of the mystery? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It was a pleasure. We'll see you next time for another fascinating journey. Looking forward to it. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning. Mm. And remember, yeah. sometimes the most exciting discoveries yeah. come from the questions we ask. Not the answers we find. Beautifully put. Thank you. <laughs>